Hey guys, it's Gadget, and guess what? Rich, Luke Rich, or Skywalker, decided to try to mess up again on YouTube because he wanted to subscribe to my page and everything. Guess what? I blocked him as fast as I could and everything. That happened about, oh god, this, early this morning and everything because I was online dealing with stuff and everything. And then, to top it off, is dumbness or stupidity a genetic thing or something out there or is it basically they're not teaching individuals about human biology or anything because I just got sent a story from one of my friends he said oh this is right up your alley because of how we've lowered the bar or we've got dumbness in the world I will go okay. for some reason now I don't trust the mirror the UK mirror or whatever it is their paper over there Everyone says it's supposedly a good mirror, or like a, a good mirror as a joke and everything, but all I know is there's a teen meninist sparks fury with anti-tampon rant as he tells women to control their bladders. Yeah, this is from the mirror, and I want to see if I can get my camera on this, because I have a lot of things right here. I want you to see it, because I got the camera perfect, but I'm not going to show, I'm just going to show you the title of it or anything, but let's see if it'll focus. See? This is from the mirror, and it says, Teenage Ment Ment Menetis, or whatever it is, sparks fury with anti as he tells women to control their bladder. And it says, Ryan Williams, 19, was baffled when people told him he may need a lesson in biology after he declared tampons are a luxury toxin because it's all about self-control. Guys, He's 19. This is scary. But this is what he looks like. Okay? He was on Twitter and everything. I just blocked him because I'm not dealing with dumbness. Okay? So, basically, what is it out there in the UK, guys? Are you guys really, like, is it for attention? Is it for comedy relief? Is it everything, you know? Because I'm reading this right now, and... I just had to put this on here because this was just, I got it sent in, like, my phone and everything. But basically, oh, damn. 19 years old? He's a baby. I'm old enough to be his mom. And, let's see, uh, sent, wow, he's been sent death threats. Huh, wonder why. <laughs> uh, well, according to the article, let's see, uh, he's a photography student who had, wow, he has a girlfriend. He should know better. Should ask his mom a couple questions too. Uh, if woman can hold it, what? He really does not understand female biology and everything. Oh God! It's basically saying that uh, the photography student who has a girlfriend believes that tampons are a luxury item, and said that if women cannot hold in their periods until she gets to a toilet, then it is her problem, not the taxpayers. Really? Yeah, he don't know. I, you know, I wish he would have one and see what he's like. You know? Because I've had for the past, so oh, old enough as him. And it's not fun. He should have those heavy days, you know? He should have the ones where the clots are like this big or, you know? Am I grossing you out here, people? I feel like this is my life. <laughs> okay? But this is what's, what, you know what I mean? He's also saying, since his sharing the controversial views yesterday, his post in which he called women campaigning to end the, the tampon seat cheapskate has been shared by over, like, almost 1,965 people and liked for almost about the same. Uh, he, what's, he, they even told where he works, but I'm not going to do that to him. I wouldn't have you guys try to, you know what I mean, and stuff. He's going to learn a lesson when he's older, because he's still a baby. That's the thing. You guys, you're babies. You're not an adult until you actually act like an adult. You're still babies. You can't figure out how a woman's reproductive cycle works and why we get cycles and periods and everything. That's on you and your mom and your school. They should have taught you. Even your girlfriend should have taught you. But I wonder, let's see, what is it, Ryan? He's from Can Canberry Island, Essex. Huh. But his, tw his Twitter said London. Okay. Uh, so the, okay. People are saying blah, blah, blah. So 
of control. Okay, blah, blah, blah. Teen who studied in Norwich and has been with his girlfriend for, same, she's the same age. Oh, she's a baby too. For 15 months. Yeah, in that 15 months, he should have noticed something. Yeah. He even set up a poll to find out how many people would support him. Oh, he is, whoa, okay, he's, whoa. And was shocked because 80% of them feel it should, should be free. Uh, you're 19. That's why I laugh at the ones that are like, who are 21 and everything, thinking they're adults and they know what the world is like too. He's 19, his baby. He's a baby. He's just out of diapers. He's just out of everything. Okay? He ain't an adult. He might be classified as an adult, but he ain't an adult. Because if you have to think that women can hold in blood, really? Okay, you try bleeding out of your 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 certain spot. Like I said, clots, it's big. And it does happen. Okay? How about we make you hold that and, and you know? You know? Why don't you have a pair? Wear a pad. Wear this. Wear tampons. Why don't you put one of those tampons up your butt? Okay? Because that's where you're talking from. And I have... No, you're a baby. I want to talk to your mother. You know what? I want to talk to your mother. Does she let you go around doing this? If I was your mother, I would have been like, Oh, hell no. Take that down. No, no. Stop acting dumb. It's that look of like, I didn't spawn you. No, no. You ain't my child. Mm-mm. Can't be that dumb. But then again... The bullies that bully me are that dumb. So, I mean, I'm not slandering anybody, but come on, guys. This is just proof that the education system out there needs to be revamped. A 19-year-old does not know how a, a female reproductive cycle works. And he's got a girlfriend, too. There ain't no logic here. Mm -mm. How about when he gets the runs or anything? You know, let's like him, you know, uh, you know, when he can't hold it. Oh, you know, yeah. Okay, no. He's a baby. He don't know anything yet. This is going to backfire on him, and it probably has already. Let's see. I think he did this for attention. That's the thing. Because he's getting his five minutes of fame. But this is sad. Really, this is sad. Because if he really is thinking that, then there's no hope for this generation, the millennials. You guys think you, you know, no, 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 no. No, if you can't even figure out how a female reproductive system works, why are you with your girlfriend? That that was just that was just one of those. My friends say, you're going to go off on that? I said, yes, I am. I was 16 when I got mine. 16, technically 12, but it was only for about a week and never showed up until I was 16. 16, then all of a sudden it just started, right? And I couldn't make it to no bathroom. I would never be able to hold that. The clots were like this big. Because I don't clot. Some people don't clot. Or if they do, the clots are like this. Okay? Look up your female anatomy. And I'm sorry if I'm grossing anybody else out, but this, this just puts fuel to the fire of the fact that I think this new generation out in the UK and even the generation here in the United States is getting dumber and dumber and think they know everything. I pray that this is all for a gag and everything because if he really does think like that, he ain't gonna survive, okay? He'll probably think to make fire, you gotta use water. But here nor there. But how was everybody else's day? I just had to put that one out there because that just irked me right now and everything. And also that Luke is following me on uh, basically this thing. So I had to block him and everything and report his ass because you know what? No, no, no. We're not playing the game anymore. Told you. You got married. You got a wife. She needs attention. I don't. Okay? Nah, that's what you have the wife for. Go play with your wife. Because I swear, the way that lady sounded that she... On the phone, the girl that called, the way she said, I'll deal with him. I wonder if it was it was her. Because I had an exciting day today. I went out. I did things. I got some cool stuff. 
and people are checking up on me because when they found out he's doing something, you know, that's what people are worried about right now and why my thing is not moving. Why is my thing not moving? Okay, we have, that's why it's on that one. I'm dealing with stuff right now. Give me one sec. I think they're trying to send me another article. You know, but I just love the fact I got that call the other day. It was interesting. Let's see. Aw. Okay, I know what it is. Yeah, everyone's checking on me. I might be getting a call in about a few seconds, but while I'm doing that, uh, basically still getting ready for Halloween. I just had to, like I said, that was just horrible. That, 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 oh, that, that child, that baby at 19 years old does not know with a girlfriend how female anatomy works. That's just right. And then Luke, and then all the other stuff. So Skywalker, please, you know what? Either do it for creative criticism in the sense of, you know what? Start looking and seeing what I have here because. Don't believe everything Graveborn says to you, and don't, because how can I trust you either by what you said to my friends and everything, that you want to rip me a new one and all the other stuff. So yeah, you're not on my nice list either and everything and stuff, because you refuse to get to know me and everything. Couples fight. Like I said, I wish when you're fr your first fight with your wife, uh-huh, but this is the thing. Go be with your wife, all right? I mean, if you want any other proof, they sent me a picture of you too, all right? By the way, her wedding dress is very pretty. I thought it was like straplessy and everything. Yes, I told you, that person ratted you out completely. But uh, here nor there. But like I said, my day was fun. Nothing in the P.O. box. That's okay and everything. But I want to introduce you to Chuck. Who ch is Chuck, you might say? Well, Chuck is one of going to be the very interesting thing to the collection. I know Shadow's already freaking out by Chuck, but say hi to Chuck. Okay? He wants to introduce himself. theme song for every one of my exes. That was just a sample of what I got. The rest of it is all in bags and everything, but that is Chuck. I think I have Felix around here. Let, you know, let me find Felix, too. Where is Felix? Oh, Felix. Where are you, Felix? Where are you, Felix? Yeah, come on, Felix. Yeah, I know. Okay, 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 Felix. Wait, wait, wait. Felix. Felix, you're public voice. Felix, but Felix. All right, all right, all right. We'll go, Felix. Felix. Sorry, folks. Felix was just a little antsy and so shadow. Felix, are you gonna be good? Okay, let's show you Felix. Okay, he's not gonna meow, but this is Felix. Okay. This is Felix. Can we see on the camera? Hey, there he is. Okay. Yes, this is Felix. See, look. Oh, Shadow love Felix. See how cute? Okay. And Luke. Sorry, once again. Cat ears, not rabbit ears. Let's see what else we've got here. Oh, yeah. I treated myself to a birthday present. Okay. I also treated myself to a birthday present. I love snow globes and Snoopy. Ever since I was little, I had a bell doll, which she's in my bedroom somewhere. But I couldn't resist this. Since no one ever buys me anything for my birthday, what that I actually want, because it's always what they want, and they go, oh, if you don't like it, we'll return it, blah, blah, blah. Or if they buy it, it's something meant for somebody else or anything, like one necklace or thing I got, and it was actually meant for a child that, that they had gotten, and they couldn't find me something, so they threw it, and I went to Macy's and ended up buying something I really liked. But this is my birthday present to me, and the coolest thing about it is... Isn't that cool? I collect snow globes... See, that's the thing you guys don't know about me. I don't even think Gravehorn knew about that. I collect snow globes and 
this is just beautiful. Yeah, let's see. Look at that. Mm-hmm. Guys, this is why you wa you gotta watch my videos. There's a lot more than you think you know about me. But that's my birthday present to me. Since no one wants to buy me anything every year, or they forget my birthday, or decide to pull what Graveborn does and has a temper tantrum and leaves me. Because of you guys. But let's see what else I got. I got also... For me... Little... It's the Great Pumpkin, Charlie Brown! Yay! All by Walgreens! party hat because it is my birthday and these are going on probably Chuck and all the other characters that I have let's see what else can I get oh, let's see our make me learn to press the mail yeah sorry guys I'm not on camera but it's all over the place because I live in a very small apartment and I got some cool signs I got some birthday things for things past hats, birthday plates, all sort of Halloween plates, because the day after is actually my birthday. So this year's theme is a birthday theme. So basically, if I can't get the other stuff out of the bedroom by this weekend, uh, well, I have to work on the kitchen again, I have to, because all the clothes and everything, I have to basically fix the closets, then... As, as I get that, then get into the bedroom each day. So, like, tomorrow after I come back from the lecture, which is why I have to check the camera and everything, because this will be probably at the lecture, and I could probably piece it together. I'm praying I can because of the editing program and stuff. Hopefully, things will be working out really well and stuff, and I get the message out there about Mark 42, Traveling Tardis. Uh, by the, like I said, Mark 42 is a winning award-winning podcast, and... All the other things that I do with geek marriages and gadget events, the Halloween, everything you name it. I even got myself a new doormat. I mean, it's just one of those where I just have to find that last piece of decoration that looks like a door, and that would help me out so much. Otherwise, i got to do a makeshift door with duct tape and everything, and that's not going to be pretty. Well, it is going to be pretty, but it's going to be interesting because I don't know if they have brown wood gray or you know what I mean like duct tape and everything but yes it's duct tape they have everything for but once I get everything up and lay out the plan and everything otherwise it was going to be a little table where certain characters sit at and everything but and celebrate a birthday if I can find an actual birthday cake yes I was actually going to have a cake out there on Halloween you guys go uh, run with me it's it's a it's a running gag theme and stuff because it's one of those you know Yep, it is. So let's see what else. Uh, got that, got that, got that. Have to get everything ready. Just that article threw me off. Uh, no one ratting anybody out today, which was good because I'm tired of hearing that phone ring at 3 o'clock in the morning. Uh, also, oh, yeah. On my way back, I had my cart with me, and the cart was a little heavy and everything. So with the cane and everything, it was cumbersome. I put the cane in the thing and stuff like that. And here I am, step, step. Because, see, here in, in, the, in the Bronx, we actually live on top of a mountain in this part. And we have the uh, staircases. And each one is about 10 steps, a stop, 10 steps, a stop, then five, well, another 10, and then another five, right? Just to get up to the right area, right? So you're trying to pull that cart up, right? Two kids, one heavy set, one skinny, could have been dark Spanish or African-American, black or whatever, right? About 17 years old, walked right by me. No manners whatsoever. Okay? That's why I'm not surprised about the 19-year-old, but yet scared that this is what the world is coming to. Okay? Then a Spanish gentleman, his arms loaded with bags, was going to help me up with everything. Right? I said, no, don't worry, don't worry. don't. You have too much stuff. Don't worry about it. Right? Next thing you know, coming, I don't know where this kid came from, Middle Eastern, right? He had to be about 17 also. Miss, miss, can I help you and everything? I 
said, sure, no problem. Yeah, he helped me up. I said, you see those two that they didn't even help? He goes, yeah, yeah, the, the way everybody is and everything. You know what he got as a reward? A $5 bill. Now, if those two kids had helped me, they would have gotten that same $5 bill. They had to split it between them, two fifty each, but still. So, guess what? Sometimes you do a good deed, you get rewarded. Because the way I was raised, if someone helps you, you reciprocate back. You give them, you know what I mean? Keep them honest, as I was told. You keep them honest. Okay? So, this is the thing. I said, no good deed goes unpunished. Always do make sure you do good. Pay it forward. He goes, I'm learning because now he's up five bucks. He did a good deed. Now he's up five bucks. Most people wouldn't give, you know what I mean? But then again, I'm not most people. Trust me. Those kids would have gotten out like a bandit. Because I was so too, okay, maybe I'll give him three bucks. I'll give him six. So that way they have three dollars each and get like a soda or something. You know what I mean? And a piece of candy. But no, they didn't want to help me. So this kid is up five bucks. Two less than what the other guys would have gotten, but still, you know, he's up five bucks. So what is, that's good, you know, that's what a good deed does. Not like some people I've met here or out there. There are a few that are good, but like I said, it worries me that you guys think you know everything and you think you know all the things. But look at this. It was a Middle Eastern kid who had more respect in manners than two either dark Spanish or African American kids. Now, not to say that manners is along the board and everything, but think about it. The way people say about race and everything, or color or heritage, okay? You know what we are? We are the human race. And we're supposed to raise our children to respect that, that we are the human race, that we all are one. Our culture dictates what we are if we are African American, black, um, Middle Eastern, European, European, white, uh, what else is there? Uh, see, India, Asia, everything, right? That's our heritage, not our, not and it's our heritage and culture, not our race. So this is where someone I know would have turned this into something, and still said, "Oh no, he's trying to say no, 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 no." This child, this 17-year-old, was raised right, whereas the other two 17-year-olds lost out on getting something rewarded to them for help. That's a thing you should think about, okay? Because people always get weird with me because I always buy people things and reward them and everything. You know why I reward them? Because they have done one at least one good thing for me. My friend Anna, I will take care of her son and her grandson no matter what when I get the money and everything or when I get things and stuff. Because you know what? Lately I haven't been able to because it's been tight over here and stuff, but I never try to forget about them. But I still manage to take care of them, okay? I always look out for them and everything. If I see something, I ask first if they can have it, like this Halloween and stuff. My friend Sally, she has two older ones who are way older, and she has three that are around my nephew's age and everything. And they're the most adorable you could think of and everything, right? So I'm like, okay, I have now them and everything. I have, you know, I'm surrounded by kids that are raised right, kids that are, you know what I mean, that because their moms took the chance and actually saw me for me and became my friends, my sister, my, you know what I mean, I take care of you, but if you do mean and nasty things just to save your own ass or your ego or try to twist things that I do, that's how you make an enemy of me, and it's not the kind of enemy you think where I'm going to be violent and everything like you guys are. I'm just not going to reciprocate. I'm not going to do anything. Like, when I was out there, as soon as he said that his friends' writings and travels came first and saw my face, and he better tell you guys what happened in there, otherwise it's going to be in the book, okay, what he did and why I was pissed for the rest of the trip. Because I almost went home that day. In the middle of the night, while his dad was going into the hospital the next day, I would have been already gone home. Because I would have had everything packed. I would have had, you name it, he would never have seen me. I would have ghosted out the night. I would have grabbed the cab and gotten to the airport and figured out how to get my, ask my dad to wire money so I can get the plane tickets to go. His mother convinced me to stay. Because he became selfish. 
and prejudged everything before giving it a chance. The first time you friggin' meet me in person, anyone who meets somebody in person, three weeks is not enough. He wanted this. He wanted me out there, and then he just went cold. How does that make me feel? Am I going to reciprocate back? Am I going to have the same feelings towards somebody when they basically just shut everything down? It's not how it works. If you're not going to try, you're not going to do it, then what was the point of three years? What was the point of coming back those four times? What was the point of anything? And that's what I'm trying to say. It comes down to how you're raised, which I'm shocked because based on what his dad and his mom, he shouldn't be raised like that from what they were telling me. But they did tell me that his trust was broken when he was younger. And he's very trusting and believes everybody and everything and stuff and can't really tell because someone did something when he was younger. That's okay. How do you think I feel? I couldn't trust anybody. Never could, never have, until I met the right people. I still have some trust issues, but that comes when it comes to dating. Because look at what I've found. Pond scum after pond scum because of their own selfish acts that they tried to blame me for. And lost something else in the process. Three something else's. Throughout the years, which I'm not going to mention. Okay? PM me if you want to know what those are. Okay? But most of you do know what that is, including Gravehorn. But I am sick and tired of all you guys. Karma is a bitch because you all got ratted out yesterday. Someone was tired of you guys lying about me. Someone was tired. Trust me, there's a lot of people that know the truth. But if you all just want to sit there and keep lying to yourselves, that's on you. I have no guilt. I'm sitting here having fun today. Learning about how kids have no manners, okay? And basically how dumb a 19-year-old is from London that he doesn't understand how female anatomy works. At the same time, getting ready for Halloween and hoping that eventually I get my dragon, but I'm thinking, you know what? I may get it today because there's a $10 coupon off of him. And I really want him and everything since that's what I wanted for my birthday. But I spent close to today $100. But you know what? I got a lot of it. I got stuff that I love that I can put up in the house. That I can use every day. Don't take away my holiday. Don't take away my birthday. It's the only things I have left. Because everyone else either died around the days or they all were bad days. Okay. So, yeah, I don't do Christmas, I don't do Valentine's Day, I don't, oh, Valentine's Day, God help me on that one. You jackasses out there, including Gravehorn. Um, what else, I don't do New Year's, I don't do, the, oh yeah, by the way, thank you, uh, Rip Gravehorn, uh, what's her name, Anime Girl and Child, uh, with the stick child with the stick um i don't do new year's anymore either what's the point oh and by the way there's still a hole in my ceiling from that new year's if you guys want to find out ask rip anime girl and stick boy okay that they, they know and, and graveborn why there's a hole in my my uh yeah you know what maybe i can show you the hole i don't know if you can see it from here i don't have the lights on or if the camera will focus but there's still a hole in my ceiling it's somewhere right above well, let me see if I can try to get this. Let me see if I can get this. Yeah, thanks to um, New Year's, there's a hole in my ceiling. Let me see if I can focus in on it. It's right there, though. Let me see. It's the camera, because I can't do it. There it is. It, I wish this thing would zoom in more. But you see that little dot there? Uh, I wish I could circle it for you. But it's like a little dot and everything. That's the hole in my ceiling. I have 10 foot high ceiling, so that's why it's a little hard to see everything and stuff. But, um, yeah, there's still a hole in my ceiling. Yeah, it was a party popper. Welcoming in the new year. All I know is the fact that right now, it would have been nice if you guys helped me out with Halloween. It would have been nice to celebrate my birthday. But, you know, to each his own. And guilt is a highly powerful emotional thing that can cause a lot of stress and pain. I never slandered anyone. You guys did it to yourself because 
You know what the funny thing about that phone call was? They kept claiming, like I said, that you guys blamed me for something that happened with him. Now, I don't know what you guys are talking about because they wouldn't tell me. They just told me that you guys were blaming me because of something that he said and he was crying about. And they were tired of his crying act and everything. Now, I promised I wouldn't have said a lot of stuff that was on that phone call because, like I said, they didn't give me permission to record or anything. Oh, and I got two new phone calls today. Let's see. Let's see what I got. No, nothing. Just, just, um, just the parents. See? Where is it? There it is. See? Just the parents. Uh, but right now, like I said, I have to get ready for work and an event I have to go to tomorrow night. That's right, guys. I'm not sitting here. I'm not depressed. I'm speaking with students on about podcasts and all this other stuff at a lecture tomorrow. Well, dinner. Actually, a dessert. Actually, I should read it to you guys. It's really cool. It's a dessert dinner. Yep, where is it? Where's my mail? Let's find my mail so I can read it to you. Let's see. Wow, Sam. Wow, Sam has changed a lot. Sorry. Um, not I, my friend Samantha Silverman or Sam Silverman. She looks like the um. Oh, like the eleventh Doctor and everything. I have a picture of her in my anime thing and stuff. She's at SUNY Albany. Nice. I haven't seen her in a long time. I'm proud of her. She's actually the same like. God, how old is she now? She's got to be at least 18, 19 now. Maybe 20. I, like, she she called me auntie. Okay, we've got... I don't know who the nerd king is, but let's see. Oh, nerd king! Guess what? It's Luke. You know how dumb you guys are? Guess what? Dun, 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 dun. Let's see if it comes up. And Luke is not right, by the way. Yeah. Let's see. Let's show you this. What a dumbass. Let's see if you can see it. It says, uh, Luke is right. No, Luke is not right. Luke is not right. Because Luke needs to know how to respect people. So guess what? Dun, 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 dun. Luke just got blocked. And basically this is being forwarded now to the UK police. You know, dumb is dumb as dumb. gotta love people because you know what I just I just really don't understand what the obsession is because that's wrong in your head because that's stalking I told you go be with your wife go have fun you know I just sent it right to the police department in the UK I warned them. I said, I'm not going to stop until you guys fix it. Because like I said, you guys are not firing on all four cylinders. Okay? Because, like I said, enough is enough. The childish games. Okay? I'm not slandering any of you. If you are that obsessed, that's an obsession you need to go see a psychologist for. Because that's actually a mental thing. You know what I mean? If people get that obsessed with a person, because I'm not obsessed with Graveborn. He's just like one of my other exes. I wish he would tell you guys the truth, what he did to me over the three years. But since you guys don't want to find out the truth, I have to deal with your obsessions. 
And I'm not slandering any of you. I'm just going based on what I see in your actions. And according to the actions, Skywalker basically is obsessing over the fact that I was with Gravehorn, not allowed to fight with him because we were a couple, uh, that I'm not a local girl that needs a new one ripped or rip a, rip a hole in me or whatever you want to call it, rip me a new one, as well as many other things that you've told people. And basically, you think that's normal? Meanwhile, you're supposedly getting married or are married because the girl showed me the wedding picture, by the way, and all the other stuff because of everything because she told me where to look and I blocked everybody. I mean, come on, guys. Enough is enough. Why are you so interested in my life? You got rid of me. Go bye-bye, you know? I don't want to have to keep doing this because you guys want to be dumbasses. Go be with your wife. Go do it. That's what you got to do. That's what husbands and wives do. You go, go be newlyweds or anything. Because it's really sad if you have to be obsessed with my life. Well, how boring is yours? Jesus Christ. How boring is your friggin' life? Would you like to come and go to work 18 hours at a job where you're told that uh, let's see, because you know how to do your job, you have to slow down because you're embarrassing the other workers because you know how to do your job and they don't like the fact that you actually can do your job. They don't like getting in trouble. I'm like, uh, I was hired to do this job. I'm doing my job. It's on them. How would you like to have to take a bus every day? How would you like to have to walk when that bus isn't there? How would you have to to like to worry about having someone try to come up with you on a knife because or shoot you dead with a gun because that's how this neighborhood is? Or how would you like to be at night around here praying that no one runs you over in a car or drunk drivers or anything? How would you like it to have a mom that is bipolar manic depressive and belittles you every day with a dad that is going crazy because he has to cater to everybody? Because if he doesn't do that, the other two of my family, my mother and my sister, start bitching him out. Okay? And have to deal with everybody else's problems because everyone else is a sorry ass that can't handle their own stuff and stalks you, Skywalker. So, here's the thing. You got your baby boy back, Skywalker. You can keep him. I told you. My friend asked me. And everything. She said he's dead. I'm like, nope. Done. So, have fun with your life and just go be with your wife. It's sad. Go be with your wife. Me? I have to go get ready for my birthday and Halloween. But if you keep this up, I will probably send stuff to your wife. But then again, I'm like, you know what? I'm not going to be a bully like you. You're going to get caught eventually. And you know what? Karma's a bitch. Because you guys just got ratted out the other day. I can't wait to see if you get ratted out again. Remember, it's been months since I heard anything from Graveborn or any of the other things except for a few posts that went viral because someone tagged me in them. I could care fucking less. Grow up. You're married. Grow up. And go the fuck away from me. Okay? I slandered nobody. If he's got a problem with me, he knows where the phone is. He can call me. But he's not. He's guilty. Because if he, if he wanted to tell the truth, he could have told the truth. He could have ended this right now. He knows where the phone is. So think about it that way. And guys, have fun. While I get to play with my Halloween stuff. So be well, be merry. I wish you all well, but I've never threatened any of you. Get your story straight. Bye, guys.